Hi, and welcome back to Best Forklift Operator, which, I don't know, I kind of feel like this is going to be probably one of my most chill um, sort of VR game experiences that I do each weekend. Let me just sort my headset. Um, I'm still really quite enjoying it. Uh, there hasn't been an update since the last time I played it, I don't believe. I'm going to carry on with career mode. So I finished the whole of the warehouse, I did mission six last time, so it's now on to the shipping room. This looks like it could get tricky. Okay, three thousand dollars. Bonus for delivering all pallets and com all for delivering all pallets. A bonus for delivering all pallets and completing the task. Oh, okay, within ten minutes. Maximum ten collision. Maximum ten collisions. Okay. Is, is that just being really, really kind to me, or am I in danger of being very accident prone in this, this time? Right, I just need to, I want the steering wheel about there, that feels okay. Right, do not be overconfident. These are only two trailers, in my opinion, you should already be working with much more. And remember to place the goods from both trailers in the proper places. Hopefully I get clues. Hopefully I get clues. Okay, so I can see there's um, a trailer over there with some stuff in. Where's the other trailer then? Oh, there's two trailers. Right, okay. Am, am I supposed to be just moving stuff from one trailer to the other or what? Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, except we're not going to worry about the um, time. I'm just going to wor worry about the experience. Right, what am I supposed to be doing? It's not clear to me what I'm supposed to be doing. We've got some stuff in this trailer here. Okay, so let's start off by raising this up to about the right height. I think that looks okay. Maybe a wee bit more. Uh, Insert all my usual waffle about how it's tricky. Whoa! Uh, it's tricky to get a good. Um, damn it! Uh, position on the uh, joysticks. Right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Right, got it. So I tilt that backwards. Um, able to select the rear, fight, um, rear gear this time, fine. I was having all kinds of problems last time. Right, where are you wanting me to take this? Right, so it's not wanting me to load it on there. So get, oh, I see, okay. So we are offloading into the warehouse. Cool. Right, I probably shouldn't have lowered this, but that's fine. It's like a pretty heavy pallet of stuff. A bit more height, I think. There we go. Just a clear on the bottom shelf. I think I'm okay on the top shelf. Right, that should be enough and lean forward. We're good. Just. Uh, we're in trouble staying straight this time. Okay, I think I got it. Right, let's just lower that. This thing's really dangerous to be driving around with it like that. Okay, let's concentrate on the red for the moment. This is fun. This is. I really feel like. Um, the warehouse set me up quite nicely. Let's just back up a little bit. Oh, too much. Okay. Now, I want to go up, 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 up. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Oh, forward. 
<sighs> steering wheel's a bit janky today for some reason. Okay, reverse and drive. Let's see where we're going. Actually, I can't see where we're going. This is probably the health and safety nightmare driving with that at that level. <laughs> I literally can't see if there's anybody in front of me. But given there are no NPCs in this. I'm just going to go ahead and do it like that. Okay. Ah! No, 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 I didn't want to do Ah, oh, shoot. I wanted to go forward. I think it. Um, I think it registered me pressing the wrong. Oh, here we go. I've got the thing again where there's definitely something gone wrong in this game. In in the latest release, where suddenly it won't let you select reverse. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, game. So it's clicking drive, but it's not clicking reverse. I was actually going to make a note of this and try and... Mm, yeah, okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. I'm not sure what I can... Oh, what I can do about that now. I'm trying to reposition things. Let's just try and... No. So it's not a reposition issue, it's literally, the reverse is just not... Yeah, I can't select reverse anymore. Come on game, there we go. That's a real annoyance. I don't know why it does that. Because it certainly wasn't a problem in the first couple of releases. Um, it was actually pretty easy to select the, uh, the gears. It's almost like the... Uh, okay. It's almost like the hitboxes have gone a bit wonky or something. Ah, uh, now I'm choosing reverse when I don't want to. Okay, there we go. Let's load up down a bit. Oh, no, I need to come up, up just a bit. There we go. Oops. Up a bit more. Ah. I wish there was some way of getting a bit more precision out of this. I really love this game, but I think the controls need some work. Controls definitely need some work. I'm stuck. There we go. I have no idea what happened there. I seem to get weirdly stuck. Drive. Um, let's just lower that because I actually can't see where I'm going. Okay, I see where I'm going. Right, this pallet of bricks is definitely a bit wonky on here, so. Whoop! And uh, slipped. Rather, well, the tracking went a bit weird. I think I've said it a few times now. The, as a game having VR, this works really well, it makes a lot of sense. But I think some work needs to be done on the control scheme. Just need to come up a little bit. Go forward, there we go. I 
thing is, is I don't know what it needs, but I, f I feel the actual control scheme is very, very close to being great. But there's something just a bit off about it, and I can't quite, and I may have inadvertently you know, made this joke last time, but I can't quite put my finger on what the issue is. But I feel it's just missing something. Whoa. This is actually tricky to line up on. Um, come more that way and then round this way. There we go, I feel that's more like it. Drive, lower these a bit. Does it look? Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, I'll take it. There we go. Reverse away. Let's spin it round. There we go. How are we doing for time? I definitely can't remember what the time limit was. For the bonus. I'm sure it was. Oh, we're going that way. Ah, uh, don't tilt it forward yet. Um, I'm fairly sure it was in less than nine minutes. Okay, let's just bring it up just a little bit. Weirdly, this feels like it's a harder one to do because it's lower down so I can't see quite so well. Ah, reverse up a bit. Right, that looks doable. Got it. Can we reverse that without... Ah, we're dragging it out with us. Don't want to do that. Let's just push it back in. There we go. Right, what, what's it not liking? Ah, I think it's gone down a bit too far there. There we go. Ah, don't go that way. Hopefully that still counts as a delivery. Is delivery the right word? Right, we've got two left to do. Oh, I have a shot again. Oh, I think I just tapped the lorry behind me, or the trailer behind me. It hasn't registered as a coll uh, hasn't registered as a collision, so that's good. I suppose we got hit stuff a bit harder than that. Uh, I didn't quite want to do that, but that works. Oh, <laughs> the way that just balanced. That wasn't good. Drive. Where are we going? Can't see a delivery spot. Oh, there it is. Whoa. Don't know what happened there. Oh, it's rocking a bit. It's scary how much it was rocking then. Oh, this is a slightly tight spot to get into. I think I can do it. As long as the tracking on the steering wheel doesn't go to a drift. Hmm, that's not looking great. Uh, it's not liking it, so let's let's lift it up a bit. Just back up. Oh, just try and straighten up a bit on this. Okay, I think that works. There we go. So let me have it. Oh. 
Now I'm selecting reverse without any trouble. <laughs> and I don't want it. That was better. Well, this is really hard to see. I think I need to be just a little higher. A little bit more. There we go. Ah, uh, it's going to do that thing and not let me select reverse again. Ah. There we go. I think I should mention that in the Steam forum or whatever you want to call it. Because that does spoil an otherwise fun little game. Oh, what? Hey, that's nasty. So that's got to go in there, but it's got to go in sideways. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is, I'm going to put it down here. Reverse out. Drive over here. Try and do a sharp turn. Reverse up a bit. That was evil. I mean, clever, but evil. And, you know, we'll go reverse. And then drive. Why would you stick it down there anyway? It's really untidy. Almost, almost, almost. About there, I think. Got it. Cool. Oh. I need to be careful I don't hit that. Drive. Ah. Oh, I'm actually in danger of... I am... Actually, touching that bollard thing. It's not bollard. Divider. Uh, okay, didn't register as a collision, so we're good. Did it? I won't have got any. Oh no, I should get a bonus, shouldn't I? Because I didn't actually smash some stuff up. Yeah, good three and a half grand. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to take the win. Cool, and that's mission two unlocked. <laughs> I really like this game. It is so much fun. Conditions 100%, that's good. Um, not for sell. I like that. Um, oh, oh no, that's where I am, isn't it? Garage, I was trying to select garage. Um, Oh, hang on. Can I? Oh, it's this here, isn't it? Can I customize anymore? No, it's literally still just the. Can I buy insufficient funds? You have to earn more cash to buy. Oh, right, yes. Um, these different ones. So that's the one I'm driving. Yes. And that's the one I quite like. I like how black that one is. It's not as black as I thought. I mean, it's kind of black. Yeah, it's midnight black. So how much money have I got? 14,000. And if I want to buy that one, 
Oh, I'm still ten and a half grand off to buy the super black one. Damn. Although, it's all black, so the lights and everything. So I'm going to guess that maybe once you unlock it, it's a different colour. Maybe it's all black just because, like, I can't even afford it. I was getting all excited that I could have a completely matte black one. I'm going to earn enough money and then find out it's actually, you know, all shiny and stuff like that. That'd be disappointing. I mean, it wouldn't. It would make sense now I'm actually thinking about it carefully. Um, that would make a lot of sense. I wonder what's so good about this one versus that one. It's the S15 versus the M30. Goodness knows what the difference is. But anyway, <laughs> from this little dip, let's close that, into best forklift operator, which I still absolutely don't. I know I say this every time, and I know I say that I say this every time, every time, but damn, this is just so much fun. This, this is real kind of peak VR kind of game. Um, it's just ridiculous how enjoyable it is. And this is why I'm only doing one mission a week, because I, I don't want to just go tearing through it and be finished and then be, you know, waiting for more content to come out. So playing it this way uh, means I kind of get the most out of it and get to play it over a good stretch of time. But from this dip into it, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.